Hello everyone, this is Insane J, and today I am on the Happy Diggers AMP server, and we are going to launch the Green Initiative. Um, it has to do with power generation, as you may have guessed. Down here we have a nuclear reactor, and of course that's not, not very green, although people say it is, but it's really not. And here we have a big reactor, which also isn't very green, because um, we have to dig up uh, a ton of stuff in the mining dimension, just to keep those fueled. And uh, earlier this week, we got hit by a hurricane, or a tornado, or whatever you want to call them, those big swirly air things. And here you can see the path the tornado took right through Sverv's tree farm. He fixed the damage already, but left quite a mess. As you can see, there are blocks all over the place. And it just kept going and going. And over here, it moved uh, uh, this oil well. It used to be uh, in a different location, but now it's here. So uh, that got me thinking, uh, why not use windmills, since we have a lot of wind, it's free energy, and you can just turn it on and it will keep running forever and ever and ever. And also, uh, why not use some solar energy while we're at it. So I did some, uh, I put some cables on the roof, uh, we have basically three main entrances to our base so each one of them has a big cable on the roof and one on this side as well and I marked the locations where I want to put the windmills with a dirt block uh, I already have the windmills I can just well not just I have to be in range of course come on signal let's grab some windmills Oh, of course they don't stack. Um, yeah, I don't need this for now. Okay, so let's put down some wind turbines. Now these uh, wind turbines, they generate about 16 EU per tick. And or 800 joules per tick, but I'm not very comfortable yet with the joules per tick uh, notation. So I connected it er to a uh, energy bridge earlier and that's how I got the output. hope this one works as well. Yep, seems to be working. Cool, cool. So I'm going to place these all around the base. And I'm not exactly sure how many I can put down. Maybe all of them. That would be nice. But I think it's a little bit less. So maybe we all start some island uh, over there. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't really matter. Um, we don't need this uh, as our only source of energy. So it's just uh, an addition to what we already have. And after these uh, windmills are running, I'm planning on making some ultimate hybrid solar panels. Because, uh, well, we have the materials to do it. And those produce a ton of energy. But we don't want to use uh, ultimate hybrid solar panels exclusively. So maybe we'll just add uh, four, I don't know, it's, al it's already a ton of power. Now the cool thing about these uh, wind turbines is that they look absolutely amazing. They are from the mechanism mod and well, I think they look really nice. 
and also make that whooshing sound. Can I put one here? Yep, is it working? It's working. Yeah, you have to keep uh, in mind that um, they need a bit of space around them in order to work. So you cannot obstruct uh, in front of them, and I also need a bit of space in between. So like this, well, uh, well, that works. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice actually. I kind of like it on the roof, having those windmills there. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's it for the windmills. Um, why do we need more power? It's also a good question. Uh, here you have our main processing facility and over here we have a bunch of industrial centrifuges they are well, running at the moment and if you can see here this unit has two overclocker upgrades and we want to put four in so they uh, work even faster but that also means they are going to use more energy and right now we do not have the energy to put in more overclockers or with the extra windmills it might just be enough but anyway um, I'm going to make some more uh, power generation in this case the ultimate hybrid solar panels because this is the green initiative now the recipe for the ultimate hybrid solar panel is uh, well, very expensive um, we already have a bunch of stuff, but I'll just start at the beginning. So we need a lapis lazuli block. So let's get some lapis. And put that in a compressor. We have an automatic compressor over here. Oh yeah. So if we put nine of them in. wait for the current recipe so what I'm going to do now is basically get all the, the recipes done and program them into the ME interface it's kind of like what I did on the previous episode uh, only this time for an ultimate hybrid solar panel Ooh, looks like Sphere has been busy making a grinder from uh, Rotarycraft uh, I think this time around we're going to skip the GregTech uh, fusion reactor and going to make the, the Rotarycraft version instead. Uh, just because it's uh, way more expensive and it looks so amazing. It's, uh, I saw a video from uh, Reika earlier and it's just uh, well the best thing ever. Okay, so that's the lazuli block, coal chunk. I think we can just order one. So let's just uh, order three to begin with. Um, then we need a scenarium alloy, which is iridium reinforced plates. I think we can already order those. Yep, iridium reinforced plates. Uh, just give me 10. We'll need a bunch later on. And we also need the scenarium part. The scenarium, scenarium, okay. Oh, looks like Surf already programmed this one in as well. So we need this and then iridium reinforced plates. Plate, reinforced plate. Now, if I'm not mistaken, those are being made in our basement. Uh, what these huge crack tech machines are for. Yep, that's that's this machine working. Sounds like stuff exploding. Okay, so let's see if we have one. Iridium reinforced plate. Thank you. Yeah, these machines they are very expensive, and that's also. Uh, part of what makes them very cool to have okay guys we're back I have four ultimate hybrid solar panels 
and if we take a look at the molecular assembler chamber you can see I finished the recipes quite a lot of stuff was needed to make the final recipe and um, the one more thing I'd like to show you this is our capacitor bank it's our energy reserve and right now it's climbing again but as you can see we drained quite a lot of it just by producing the ultimate hybrid solar panels and that's mainly because of well these machines over here and a few big ones in the basement I had to add a recipe for silicon ingots for which you need uh, the industrial blast furnace so that's part of what makes the ultimate hybrid solar panel so expensive you need all these uh, high-end machines and yeah you also need the iridium reinforced plates which are made in this machine so yeah it's uh, you need quite a lot of expensive materials and of expensive machinery but in the end you get an ultimate hybrid solar panel and if I remember correctly they output uh, 512 EU per tick during the day so that is a lot um, let's see where are we going to put them I think I'll put them on the cable behind oh if you noticed the cable turned green that means it's getting uh, a lot of power oh yeah of course it starts raining well anyway, uh, the ultimate hybrid solar panels are generating 512 EU per tick now. So basically I've tripled our energy production. Well, almost. Let's say we doubled it. I think we did around 1500. And now we're doing about 3500. So it's quite an increase in energy. This capacitor bank should charge pretty quickly now. So yeah, that's uh, it for our wow green power initiative. We've got some bad weather here. You know, we might just get if we're lucky. <laughs> well, depends on your definition of luck. We might just get a tornado. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, it's been a few days since we had our last one. Eve started building this uh, this restaurant at the beach. It looks really nice. So sitting here outside in the rain, ready to order something to eat, maybe something to drink. It's gonna be awesome. Uh oh, we got horizontal leaves. Yep, it's bad weather. Oh. If you see my minimap, you can see the scar the tornado left the last time it passed uh, this area. And it pretty much looked like the weather we have right now, so I will never know. It might just happen. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to hang around to see if we get a tornado. And I will see you guys next time. Ooh, banana spit. Nom 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 nom.